Welcome to Box Mining. My name is Ron. I'm an analyst here. And if you're familiar with my work, I am huge on airdrop farming. Now, while Michael is going to be away for a week, I'll hold down the fort here. We're going to be talking about Metis airdrop. And I'm sure this is very, very much right up your alley. Okay, so if you've been following us, oh, my bad. I forgot to have their open. There we go. Now, if you've been following us on Plus, Box Mining Plus, I've talked about this for already more than a month. And in fact, uh, the airdrop campaign itself, the, the beginning of it was Season 1 Testnet airdrop, right? Now, Season 2 just finished, and now they're pivoting to the mainnet task. So, as of now, if you have completed, uh, if you have participated in the Testnet airdrop, you can claim your NFT, which will be on the decentralized.metis.io. So all of the links are in the description. Okay. So here, based on your performance, how many times you've played around uh, signing transactions, it's not just XP because some people did get a lot of points, but uh, they didn't have enough unique smart contract interaction. That's what I uh, am understanding. They, they're only able to claim the, uh, the lower tiered NFTs. So, so far, let's see, there are three tiers. There's Elite, Based, and Good. So, uh, the, the top third will get the Elite Helmet. And then, so on and so forth, right? So, as of, I think, if you... Yeah, this is just an example. For example, let's say you've earned 20,000 points. Then, uh, yeah. But, anyway, just get it. Because I think now, the bigger... Um, allocation of the airdrop will be focused on the layer three, which is the main net activities. So um, some of you guys say I don't have Metis for gas fee. Uh, if you don't have, then you won't be able to do this, but it's very cheap. So I've check, check this guy out, MZTA cat. He's a very smart alpha airdrop farmer. He's one of the ones who actually called that the Starknet airdrop favors developers more than users. So check mzta cat so he says that you can do with just more than ten dollars and you can even take the funds back uh excluding gas fees of course so theoretically on paper right when you go to the um the layer three quest that is you're gonna have to do seven quests and these are mainnet activities but don't be intimidated because i've done the the task itself you can actually do it with $15 or even $20 just to be safe. But that is only if you are pulling your money out of each protocol and then moving it to the rest. If you're going to be holding your position in each protocol, then the steps would be just take the number here. Actually, I'll put the links in the description later. So for the first task, you'll need to bridge $25. So obviously, $25 would be the minimum then, not $10. So bridge $25, $10 here, $10 here, so $40. 50, 60, 70 dollars, uh, 90 dollars. So if you want to hold your position on nine of those protocols, you're going to need 90 dollars. But if you want to take your funds out of the protocol once you've completed your task, so on this browser, I cannot use my MetaMask for some reason because this is the name box mining channel. Um, but I'll show you later on. I, maybe I'll do another explanation on the Plus channel. But essentially, uh, you do the you start by doing the bridge first, right? You bridge twenty five dollars. You bridge twenty five dollars, and do you which bridge to choose? You should go for the Synapse one. So MZTA cat says here, because you can uh, bridge from BNB chain to Metis, and that's the cheapest option in terms of gas. And here, you will also receive a little bit of Metis for gas, okay? Now, if you want a little bit more Metis, because um, I recommend doing the, the swap first before claiming your NFT, because the claiming NFT will cost around 20 cents, 30 cents, so that's not enough. Clearly, you only get like 44 cents, right? So if you need more uh, Metis tokens, you can get them uh, on these exchanges here. I highly recommend BinX, uh, Bing X. Uh, our invite link is down in the description if you want to use it. And if you've been following us on the Plus channel, uh, you know that we like Bing X as well. This is very strong liquidity, very good perpetual volume. But head on over to Spot. 
just type Metis, Metis USDT, and you need to buy at least five USDT worth of Metis. And withdrawal will also be five USDT worth of Metis. Just move that to your MetaMask and you'll see your Metis there. Then you can play around with here. So me, I'm doing 90, I'm doing the $90 route. I want to hold my position uh, in each of these protocols just because I have the resources to do to do so. But if you're um, if you're limited with your money and you need to save as much as you can on gas. So for example, you know, you're bridging $25. So the minimum safe, just to be safe, including the gas cost, $30. All right. So after you bridge, you swap and then you swap to whatever the requirement here is, right? And then once you've swapped, you just swap it back to Metis, right? Or whatever, and then lend it here. You finish the, the lending one, done. Take the money out. Don't need to post it as collateral. Just take it out so that you can use it, right? Have it liquid and then do the perpetual. Do the perpetual, done. You close your position, take it out. No need to put it in as collateral. Have it in your MetaMask wallet as liquidity. So you can do the rest of these. So theoretically, you can do it with $25 or sorry, $30. All right. If that makes any sense. So yeah. And in terms of the airdrop itself, people are asking, um, when's the airdrop? How much is the airdrop? And if the token has been going on, like it's been launched since when was it? Since 2021, why is there an airdrop? And you see the performance is actually pretty good. If we're talking about peak alt season 12 months after the having, I mean, this could go beyond 200 or even all time high. So that's going to be crazy. So in terms of the, the allocation of the airdrop, that would be from what I understand is 6 million Metis tokens, I think vesting. So even until now, the airdrop allocation, which is 6% of the total token supply, is still locked. It's still not given away yet. All right, everything else is already completed. All of their linear vesting schedules have already been done. So the next one that we need to look out for is the airdrop. So 6% of that, that would be 600,000, sorry, 600,000 Metis tokens is still pretty good, right? Uh, Glenbert says, is this a new layer three Metis quest? Because I think I did this quest before Metis went up in price. Uh, as of now, this is the updated one. Yes. So I think so far there are seven. Uh, yeah. But it's only like one on-chain activity per these. So you think, oh, this one, wait, this one, let's see. Yeah, these are social media tasks. So really it's less than seven on-chain tasks. So. Yeah, save up on the gas and you can repeat it as much as you want, as much as you need. There's no official confirmation from the team, I think, in terms of frequency. It, it could, uh, is it confirmed that frequency of smart contract interaction, will that help with more airdrop allocation? Uh, no official confirmation for that, but certainly it helps, right? And it's even more helpful if you have a bigger volume. So if you're going to be uh, ramping up your volume, perpetuals is definitely an easy way for me to uh, to do that, right? Because you're borrowing money, but it's not financial advice. Okay. If you don't know what you're doing in perpetual, you can easily lose your money. Okay. And that's pretty much it for this video. Guys, smash up the like button and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the Box Mining Plus channel. Uh, but I'll do one more video here on the main Box Mining channel. Uh, I think we'll be talking about Polkadot. We'll look at the Polkadot ecosystem because it's, they're making moves now. They're making moves. Okay, so my name is Ron. Shanana.